A third vaccine has been authorized, and that's bringing some new concerns. Plus, many of you still have questions about medications and the vaccines. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back to answer your questions submitted through our website. Click on Detroit.com. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim. Yeah, you know, you've heard me talk about not taking ibuprofen before your vaccine to avoid the theoretic concern about decreasing your response. So Ken asks, when is it all right to start taking ibuprofen again? Well, Ken, the answer is if, when you feel you need to. If you don't need to take it, don't take it. But if you're sore afterward, it is perfectly reasonable to take Motrin. Now, here are some more of your questions. James asks, I was asked if I was on blood thinners before my shot. If I'm on a blood thinner, can I still get the vaccine? The answer is yes. Being on an anticoagulant, whether it's Coumadin or another medication like Xarelto, is not a contraindication to receiving the vaccine. However, if a provider is concerned your blood is too thin, basically over anticoagulated, you may be asked to adjust your dose before getting the shot. If you are anticoagulated, there is a risk of extra bruising and bleeding. That can be minimized by using a thinner needle and applying pressure to the area afterward. Matt asks, I had COVID back in November and I received the first dose of the Moderna vaccine in February. I was wondering if it's completely necessary to get the second dose or if I have enough coverage. The answer is that, based on some recent research, it is possible you might have a good level of protection in that circumstance, but we don't have enough information to be certain, so it's still recommended that you get the second dose of the vaccine when it's due. Ron asks, with the second shot, I had a lot of side effects. Now they're starting to subside. Why the big difference from the first and second shots? The reason is that the first dose primes your immune system, so the response to the second shot is higher. Amy asks, is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine considered a live vaccine that should be avoided by those with a weakened immune system? While it is a virus, it's not considered live because it's been modified so it cannot make copies of itself and it doesn't cause any illness. Now finally, a question that has come up again is whether the vaccine dose is adjusted by weight. The answer is no. The vaccine dose is the same whether you weigh 90 pounds or 290 pounds. Back to you. Okay, Doc, thanks.